tornado can emerge even when there's no storm or rain. Most of the time, they appear in summer when the ground is heated, but there are many exceptions. Tornado formation is sudden and quick. It might take only a few minutes before it starts to wreak chaos upon everything in its path. Welcome to the virtual reality class for extreme survival. If a tornado found you at home and you have no time to escape, make sure to lock all windows, doors, and attic spaces. Stick tape crosswise over each window glass to prevent the debris from scattering. Make sure to turn off the gas and electricity and put out the fire in your stove. Prepare flashlights and candles, as well as water and food supplies for at least three days. Don't forget to take a working radio. Also, make sure to grab the first aid kit. If you live in a tornado-prone area, it's better to keep a strategic supply of those items in your shelter at all times. The region inside of a tornado is characterized by low temperatures and oxygen levels, making it difficult to breathe. There aren't any detailed visual observations of this inner region because these storms are too intense to shoot inside. Tornado formation is quite simple. Hot air streams from the ground collide with a descending stream of cold air brought by thunderclouds. Warm air can't go higher up and cold air can't flow down. The force of their collision gradually produces a vertical column of spinning air that starts to suck debris from the ground like a giant drain. A tornado can be up to two miles in diameter, and the speed of the funnel itself is somewhere between 25 to 40 miles per hour. A tornado can last from a few minutes to an hour or more, but usually they exist for up to 10 minutes and then dissipate. Don't leave your shelter right after the wind weakens. The twister may reappear in a few minutes. Phew, the tornado is gone now. You can leave the shelter. And the lesson is over. Hey, congratulations.